Hey, what's up, Cowboys Nation? We are here in training camp in Oxnard, California. My name is Nicole Hutchison, joined by fifth year running back Rico Dowdle. Now, Rico, I mean, we got some good weather out here, good vibes at training camp so far. Uh, how would you just assess the way that things are going so far for you in training camp? Um, we're on like day three or four out here right now, but been going pretty smooth, you know. Getting out here, like you said, the weather great. So getting out of that Texas heat, went to Vegas too, getting out of all the heat. But getting out here, just getting on. Um, right now we're in the ramp up period still, so just getting started. How much does it help just being in this good weather, not being in that dry, harsh Texas heat, just for you guys to kind of practice and really like lock in and focus? I think it helps a lot. Like when you think about it, like just all the things, um, focus, um, body, things like cramping, um, just getting out the heat and, and things like that. I coach like a big numbers guy, so he take all those things into consideration, like what it do for your body, just being able to go and do more with the weather out here. This is year five for you. What did your off season look like? And was there anything that you did differently heading into this year's training camp? Not really try to keep it the same as I did last off season. Um, went on a vacation to Vegas. Ooh. Other than that, chill with the fam. Then I got right back to training in Texas. What's the mentality for you coming into another training camp? And uh, has it changed considering last year's disappointing early playoff loss? Um, I wouldn't say it's changed. My, my mentality, me personally, is always just to come out here and continue to improve each and every day, get better. But um, like you said, obviously last year the playoff loss, um, it's in the past. We'll remember the feeling as a team and that's something that we look forward to and just continue to grow off of and get better. You're fresh off your best year um, in the Dallas Cowboys uniform. Well, one of your best years, we'll talk about health-wise and second best production-wise since 2020. What are some ways that you look to kind of build off of that? Just continue to try and expand my role on the team, um, doing what I can do to help the team win. Um, just going out there, showing what I can do to the coaches and hopefully getting more opportunities. And talking about expanding your role, what does that look like? Uh, right now, I really, I'm really not sure, but yeah. like just being more involved on the offense, getting out there to, to make more plays, I would say. One of the biggest point of emphasis this offseason was just really getting establishing that run game. How do you see this, I guess, the run game improving? Um, it's a lot simpler this year. Um, we cut it down a little bit um, and fixed up a couple of the points and read keys and things like that with Coach Blasco and the O-line coach. But I definitely say one of the main things that it's been uh, simplified down for everybody as a whole, O-linemen, running backs. What have been some of those conversations like with you and Jeff Blasco is, in terms of you making this big jump uh, heading into year five for you? Um, I haven't really talked to him much about it. Maybe one time in our exit interview, but just staying ready and continuing to build on, like you said, what I did last year, and continuing to just come out here and get better each and every every day. Control what I can control and the rest to take care of itself. This is the second year for you under, uh, well, with Mike McCarthy calling the plays. How much more comfortable do you feel just heading into this training camp knowing that? Very, I say very comfortable um, with Coach McCarthy. And obviously he'll be more comfortable himself as well, um, knowing what kind of players he got and how exactly he wants things done. I mean, you always make improvements and adjustments from the year before, so. And we was real explosive last year, so I'm pretty sure. Looking forward to them. And the Cowboys brought in Zeke this offseason. Um, how do you feel like you and Zeke pretty much, I guess, complement each other? Um, I'd say Zeke, um, a great addition with his experience and things like that, just his pointers, and because he's been doing it for such a long time. So he just, for me and the young guys in the room, just his tips and pointers and things like that. But as far as complimenting, I mean, two different type of style backs and a lot similar in two in a couple ways, but just going in there, trying to build and be that one-two punch. One of the things that Mike McCarthy has been talking about is that running back by committee pro approach. What's your mindset with that new approach and how do you feel like you can factor into that? I know it's kind of early, but just as of now, you know, the first couple of days, your assessment on that. Um, Like you said, control what I can control and just do what I can do to get my part of it. Um, being a part of that running back by committee, whatever that may be. I know we talked about it being like one guy not getting a whole driver and going eight to ten plays. So like one guy come in for five, another guy come in for five, and another guy come in for three or something. But just doing what I can do to keep my role in that in that part. What does a successful season look like for you? Super Bowl. Super Bowl. Yes, All right. And what can fans expect to see from Rico Dotto in 2024? Um, just a person trying to continue to build off of last year and um, have another great season and, and win. That's the main thing.